All right, what is good, 300? Today we're taking a look at the Corsair K65 Lux RGB with the Cherry Red MX switches. Okay, the wrist rest that this one comes with is so much more Lux in comparison to the Strafe. The Strafe was just plastic. This one is very nice to touch. Now, I don't know about you, but I love the sound and the feel of these red switches. I thought in the beginning that the silent switches would be for me since I'm more productivity, but once I heard and felt these red switches, I fell in love. So these are very nice switches. They have a very nice sound. They don't have the click back like the blues, but they're awesome. So next, let's get into downloading and installing the Q software, which is the Corsair Utility Engine. You can get this from the Corsair website. You go to the keyboard and you click on downloads and you go ahead and pick this up. Okay, now once that is done, the next thing I want to show you is RGB profiles. I'm going to skip the effects because they're pretty basic. Uh, I might add them in at the end under some music, but for now I want to get into RGB profiles. There's something very particular about getting profiles onto this one. Because when you go under the RGB Lux specific profiles, there aren't that many. But if you go to the K65, there's a ton. So in order to get those ones that are just for the K65 to work, you have to open up these profiles in Notebook, you have to search for the model, and then you have to edit it to say the K65 Lux RGB in order to get them to work. I'm gonna show you this on the screen right now so you get a feel for it. Right now I'm doing it, I'm gonna do it again so you can see me fully go through the process and you can learn. So let's go here, let's open with Notepad, and go ahead and open up the profile, and you can hit Control F to do a search, search for model. As soon as model pops up, you'll see it. And then you go in there and you take away the beginning. Make sure it just says K65 space Lux space RGB. Once you do that, you're all set to go. You can load in these profiles and you can use them as if they were made for the K65 Lux and they will work flawlessly. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these profiles in action. So here we have the Pac-Man profile, which is pretty cool. You see Pac-Man run across your keyboard with a ghost chasing him. That's pretty unique who has Pac-Man running on their keyboard. So next up, let's try to take a look at the Knight Rider one. I think that one's pretty simple, pretty basic. It's just red and uh, it's kind of like the front of the car. For those of you too young for Knight Rider, ignore this. All right, next let's check out the Doom profile. First thing it gives you is like the title effect. You get the map. You get an explosion effect, you get the blood effect. So for all you Doom freaks out there, you got something for your keyboard to show off. And then up next, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite profiles. I showed it to you when I did the strafe review and I'm gonna show it to you on this K65 Lux. It's the YouTube profile. So anytime I'm trying to get into my YouTube mode, anytime I'm editing a video, I'm just trying to keep my mind focused and keep going, I switched on to that one. This is the default one. I don't care for that one. So let's go back to the YouTube one. And a quick note right here, as you see me set this profile to my device memory, that downloads that profile to the device. And what that does is it allows you to use that profile without having the Q software open. So if you have this keyboard plugged in to say your Mac and it doesn't have the Q software, which obviously is not on there, you'll still have this profile show up. I've tested it, I've used it and it works. So let's touch on a couple key points. Now you have media keys on this. You also have a brightness button. You have a Windows lock button. You have a USB 2.0 pass through. You also have a bio switch at the very top of this keyboard. And there is so much more I could go on and on about, but I'm gonna cut this one short right here. I just pulled up the Batman profile which I didn't pull up earlier. Now I'm going to switch it out for the Superman profile. And I'm going to leave you right there on that note. Up next, I have a comparison video between this K65 Lux and the Strafe RGB MX Silent. I'm going to go head to head between those two and see which one I pick. So let's hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe and come back for more 300 views per second.